Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina, and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said Do you he know her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yes, it's Bella and Celeste. Okay. Cece. She went by, they called her Cece? Mm -hmm. All right. So he went to, were they in North Carolina They're already? They were already there. If you want something. <laughs> I don't know my stomach yet. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they were already out there. He just flew out there to meet up. Do you know why they were there? They're, they're all from there. Okay, so they were there They for... were visiting her family for the most part until he got there. And then they still were mostly visiting her family. Okay. This video excerpt is from the August 16th interview of Chris Watts' former mistress. Now, the audio portion of this video had been available for three years since the initial discovery was released, but it was only recently, in April of 2022, was the video portion of this interview released, and that was only after a YouTube creator put some pressure on the district attorney's office. In my profession, I observe and analyze behavior. One thing that we know is that 80% of human communication is nonverbal. That means communication happens through body language, through facial expressions, through the way a person holds their posture. A good example of the importance of this nonverbal communication is when Chris Watts was interviewed on his porch the day after his family went missing. In this case, his facial expressions, his micro expressions were absolutely not match what he was saying or what, you know, a person would be feeling or experiencing when their whole family disappeared and they've been gone for over a day. We also see examples of the importance of nonverbal communication in the trial that's going on right now between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. What I'm getting at here, guys, is a specific movement Chris Watts' former mistress makes, a nonverbal communication, if you will, when Agent Coder asks if she knows Shanann's name. Now, this shady empanada has managed to get through hours of interview without saying Shanann's name. Agent Kobach has to ask her again, specifically, can you say her name? The first time she says Shanann's name, look at what she does with her hands. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina, and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said do you, do you he know her working. name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And it's Shanann. All right. And Chris, while he was talking to Agent Coder, made a lot of movements towards his neck area, says Tammy Lee. Special Agent Coder actually came out of the room and he said uh, he may have strangled her. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said. Do you, do you he know was her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yes, it's Bella and Celeste. Okay. Cece. She went by. They called her Cece. It's like right off the highway in Frederick. Okay. And do you know 
through the streets. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out again if I like really had to. Like off the top of my head, no. Do you know the street name? No. I would have to like drive around. It just seemed like he had so much going on and it was just beautiful that I was like, why don't you just try this out, you know? Into it and I did not like it, did not want to go back. Recall where the house was. Yeah, it's like right off the highway in Frederick. Okay. You know the streets. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out again if I like really had to. Like off the top of my head, no. Do you know the street name? No. Okay. I would have to like drive around in there to get there. Okay. 